Okay, Tuesday, September 9, 2025, continuing with these uh, video segments. Uh, this is going to be part three uh, regarding the, uh, I'm just doing a comparison of this uh, Quark SRB, one of these uh, uh, with the, with the uh, Bumblebee. Uh, these particular uh, helicopters, the Quark SRB came out, uh, I don't know, 15 plus years ago, the Bumblebee. I did uh, uh, earlier uh, years than uh, than the Quirk, and so what I've been doing is doing a comparison uh, comparison of these two helicopters, uh, sort of vintage uh, by today's uh, times, to showcase uh, some of these uh, upgrades that I employ on this Quirk SRB. Actually, I started uh, with uh, some videos that uh, refer to the repair of the control board so check out those videos if you are interested in finding out how I repair my control board how, how I'm repairing it because I'm still waiting for some parts to come in so that I can replace the basically the MOSFETs that control the uh, brushless motor and the cordless motor that's sitting right there so in this video what I wanted to do is uh, continue with some of these uh, comparison uh, uh, details and as I said in one of my other videos I said that the Quark employs a very uh, unique uh, motor that's uh, installed uh, right above the uh, the main motor right here that's driving a shaft to a 90 degree bevel uh, gear uh, system at the tail end so that keeps it really lightweight at the tail end um, and I said that I did that earlier and this is the helicopter actually the, the, the framework the, my uh, my very first one I have a, a few of these that I did with a similar setup here you can see the motors that I was using uh, it's not a cordless motor. In this case, it's just a regular DC uh, motor that I use. But it's got a coupler there inside an aluminum coupler or a collar, if you will, that's uh, attached to a, uh, I believe I use a carbon uh, rod here, to a uh, aluminum gear. And I, I am uh, also employing a 90 degree bevel gear system here, very similar to what the Quark did. But this is, uh, you know, this helicopter came out after I had already done all these experiments, you know, with my Bumblebee variations of the Bumblebee. I did some other uh, helicopters um, um, uh, under different names that I was showing uh, through various uh, RC forums. Uh, and if you look for that, you'll probably stumble on that. That goes way back, you know, to uh, 1990, way prior to 2000, um, when AOL... Uh, the uh, you know the uh, internet uh, forums started to surface. I started talking about these things uh, b back uh, in in the day, and so that's one of those other details.